um, so my mom's actually a school teacher and I remember being, I was in second grade when the Columbine shooting happened. Mm -hmm. And I think about that all the time, how like when I was seven, Columbine happened and that was like the craziest thing. No one had ever heard of that before. Like we had like a school shutdown days later just because someone ran past the school. Like they're like, you know, just how on alert we were. And then like another one would happen and, and everybody knew about it. And then a few years ago, even just, it's like, you hear about them and you hear about them secondhand. They weren't even the number one headlining thing on the news. These mass shootings have become so common that it's almost like they're, they're, they happen to a degree that we don't know about them the second that they happen anymore. And, and the fact that, I don't want to say that we've become numb to them because that's not the case, but that they're not the most pressing thing when they occur is just, to me, that's, that's really telling about where we've become or like where we've come to be as a culture. And one of the personal kind of like effects that happened being a part of this mm -hmm. and just being a part of the story and the development of the script, um, I, I really like in a weird way, I put two and two together for the first time with my mom as a school teacher, not that this happened at a school or anything, but just that these mass shootings keep happening and they often are happening at schools that like, my mom who's a school teacher has actually a very dangerous profession these days. <laughs> and how crazy that is mm -hmm. that you, like I'm getting, you know, goosebumps right now just talking about it, that that this has become a part of our culture due to, you know, my in my point of view, like a, a lack of attention to um, mental health, the lack of, you know, funding for mental health and, and people feeling like they have a space to reach out to and a number of other things as well. And, you know, it's a whole, other conversation. Um, but I was just so grateful. And I saw this in New York when it uh, premiered in New York. Um, and I brought a friend with who I, I hadn't told her everything that it was about. <laughs> and oh, she was wow. there. Yeah. And so she, we were just both sitting there and like gripping each other. And, and I just remember, I still remember um, sitting in that theater uh, crying and just being so struck by everything and just so grateful for how well um, exactly what Jose was saying, like that you portrayed the character, not not from showing the otherness, but not from making him an other. And I think that's the way that it's done a lot of times um, mm. is they, it's like, this is the bad person who you can hate and this is why. And that's one of the things I really respected about this film is that it, it doesn't glorify, you know, the, the character, but it does, it just, it's just a different, perspective that maybe gives us a little more perspective about how this happened, similar to I, I, the movie, The Joker, which I thought did a, another really great job of this, like, this is like, people aren't, people don't just wake up and go do this. Like there's, there's a buildup to when these things happen. And so I, I just have goosebumps still just talking about it right now, but I was really, really grateful for the, just the tone of the piece and the attention to detail and the way that you guys handled the character. Thanks. Thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.